Climbing coronavirus numbers. The state records another 2,000 cases today and 48 deaths. That is two deaths per hour in Maryland. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. This was the worst single day total for deaths since May. And we're now learning one of the latest victims is a longtime DPW employee. And WJZ is live. Avajoy Burnett explains that even if a vaccine arrives in the next few weeks, most people may have to wait until the spring to get it. Have a joy. Good evening, guys. The governor talked about this on national TV this morning. He said the federal government could be sending shipments of the vaccine out to the states by mid-December, but even so, not everyone will be able to get a dose of that vaccine. All of this is being considered as more people die from COVID-19 every day. Sadly, this is uh, the, the darkest days are yet ahead. Governor Larry Hogan talked about the rise in COVID-19 numbers not only here in Maryland but across the country. He spoke about it this morning on Good Morning America. And uh, you know, go, hearing the statistics you were just talking about earlier, the, the worst part of this virus is still coming in the in the, in the weeks and the, maybe the month or two to come. Data from Johns Hopkins shows the United States has hit the 14 million mark for positive COVID-19 cases. Wednesday was the deadliest day in the pandemic. Someone died in the U.S. every 30 seconds. 48 people died in Maryland in the last 24 hours, the most deaths in a single day in months. One of those recent victims was Charles Johnson, a longtime Department of Public Works supervisor. He'd worked there for 45 years and died after two weeks in the ICU. The initial delivery of the COVID-19 vaccine could come in mid-December after FDA approval, but Governor Hogan said that will not be enough for the nearly 300,000 frontline healthcare workers in the state. And we're not going to have enough for everybody, so we're just asking for patience. The good news is the, the cavalry is on the way. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Health officials at Johns Hopkins praised the rapid development of a vaccine. Today, they tried to reassure Americans it will be safe. But we do have good news uh, about the vaccines. And as Ellen said, there's been astonishing progress made in the development of COVID-19 vaccines. Recent data here in the state of Maryland in the last 24 hours shows that hospitalizations fell slightly in the last 24 hours, but ICU bed rates, that's up the highest that we've seen since June. The positivity rate is also well beyond 7%. Live at 6, Avidoy Burnett for WJZ.